All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So today I bring you the Doogee S61 Pro. Now, this has six gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage should be inside, 20 megapixel night vision camera with NFC, and this is one of the, another one of the rugged phones. So this thing is actually pretty cool. It's got a 5,180 milliamp hour battery inside. Uh, obviously, it's going to be IP68 gonna have all those goodies in there uh, and you've got um, MediaTek G35 eight cores clocked at 2.3 gigahertz uh, that's something to get excited about it's got a dual uh, camera ring design and it's a uh, AI double Sony camera setup so you got a 40 megapixel and a 20 megapixel this is pretty eclectic so you've got uh, a six inch display Corning Gorilla Glass 500 nits peak brightness again that 5180 milliamp hour battery I'm curious to see what this is going to look like. Is this on the pictures? It looks really nice. It's running Android 12, uh, so and that that RAM is DDR4 of the six gigs. So this is pretty crazy. This is their, this is their all new look with a see-through design. So this is going to be crazy. I know it is. And let's enjoy this first look together. Oh. Tell me that's not sweet, man. That is crazy. You got the little NFC tag right there. Uh, this is sick, man. This is crazy. They are getting out of control with these rugged phones. This is a beautiful phone. Like, for real? Seriously, Doogee? This is crazy. You got texture along here. So when you're holding it like this, you can have some grip. And then this all new see-through design is just crazy so everything in the box here you've got your limited warranty you've got an additional screen protector it appears this is pretty sweet here's your warranty card that you'll need to fill out you've got your sim tray that's pretty cool uh, and then you have the book here a little manual sweet then you've got a lanyard you got your type C cable and you got your fast charger so that is really sweet let's get some of this stuff out of the way and let's get this thing fired up for you man I am excited to bring you this one this is pretty cool um, that they got this new design so let's go ahead and peel off the front screen protector. If you just marvel at that beautiful looking hardware for a second, I mean, do you see that? That's crazy right there. Oh my gosh. That is a sick design, man. That is a sick design. I am really impressed with this freaking design. This is crazy right here. Impressive, man. I mean, do you see this? So on this side here, you've got a, looks like a power button, which doubles as a fingerprint reader. Then you got your volume up and down. Uh, and then you've got a, uh, a button here, a smart key, more than likely. And then here you've got your SIM tray and SD card slot, looks like. Yeah, it's a little pull tab in there to get it out. So let's go ahead and hit this power button and see if we got some juice. Yep. And we're going to peel off the first screen protector here. All right, all right, all right. Doogee is doing the most. They are doing the most. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the, the, um, the S96 GT real briefly just to show you um, the difference. In design this is the difference in design here that they've gone over you see this one's a lot smaller it's actually weighs a lot less too uh, and then you've got the see-through design very eclectic very eclectic so gonna go ahead and get this fired up and I'll be right back is that not nice or what now we're back here. I've got, I'm signed into the device. Now this does have uh, face unlocked and I set up the fingerprint reader on here. So let me show you what the fingerprint reader looks like. You can see that's how fast it is. I set up two fingers and so I'm going to do the face. You can see that's the face. You can see how fast it got into my face. 
pretty decent for uh you know that distance and the angle behind the camera this is just the first impressions it's late in the evening as you can see i'm headed to bed after i work out and i wanted to show you this because i was so excited to finally see this device man and just the the overall appearance of this phone is crazy this is just beautiful man i mean i've never in my life seen something so beautiful in a long time this isn't the first phone that's got the see-through look and everything but this is absolutely beautiful so i wanted to go ahead and give you a first impressions of it and i'm impressed this is how it comes now i did make some changes um, i went into the five by five i also turned on the app tray and i turned on gestures so let's look at bloatware real quick and see if we can find any I also turned on dark mode as well so you've got uh, children's thing. That's been the thing on these lately. I've been seeing a lot of a children's thing. Uh, and then you've got a uh, easy launcher, FM radio. No, no bloatware on here. Um, the sound recorder. There's no nothing on here that I would need to remove. There's no Facebook or anything. Uh, so we go into the settings here and go to about the phone is running Android 12 on the May Android security patch. Uh, so, you know, just bear that in mind. I did check for any software updates and there were none. Uh, it's got 128 gigs of storage, only 13 used, and that's pretty pretty doggone decent. Yeah, but I turned on gestures, uh, and that's pretty much it. I turned on dark mode, gestures, 5x5, five five, uh, and, and the app tray, and that is it. This is exactly how it's going to come to you. So, um, this is really nice. You've got the smart key right here. Smart key is uh, one that... Um, all the all these phones have right here this button right here all these phones these doji phones have that smart key so that's 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 pretty cool man I, I think i like it a lot so single click is none but let's change the single click to flashlight and let's see here you ready whoa it's freaking bright yeah that's that's crazy so we'll do a uh, single key numb and then we'll do double, uh, actually, you know what? Long press flashlight. So then we'll long press and you can see, there we go. Not too much of a long press, but yeah, that's beautiful. So uh, the easy key or the smart key is really nice. You got your intelligent assistant. This is, can help you to um, do different gestures, man. Uh, so you've got your three finger screenshot, Open the quick camera, gloves mode. I like that it has gloves mode. New message, bright screen. You can brighten the screen up. Side, um, side navigation bar. So you turn that on, you, you'll get a side navigation bar here. So let me see here. I can show it to you. All right, let's see. Where's the side navigation bar? Uh, swipe in from the left side of the edge of the screen. There it is right there. All right, come on. This is what it says. Swipe in from the left side of the screen. Uh, let's edge of the screen uh, and pause to open the application. <laughs> I guess, man. I, I don't know. It's, 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 uh, maybe I'm missing something there, but hey, these are some of the gestures that you can get into with this phone. But nonetheless, um, you got functionality for your fingerprint reader. Uh, these are all the things that you can do with the fingerprint uh, function over here. So that's pretty cool. But this phone is a rugged phone. And so the the reason for getting this is because you don't want a case uh and you want something that's gonna pretty much work on any carrier uh as you can see here as we look around i was going to show you this but you've got the headphone jack up top and it's a shame that this phone has a headphone jack and uh, and, and it's a rugged phone and the price is right isn't that crazy bumper stops on here again volume rocker and power button which doubles as a fingerprint reader spot for a lanyard and your type c is actually covered down here which is pretty cool you can see that water resistant because it's IP68. And on this side here, you have your uh, SIM card tray and your um, SD card slot in there. And then this is that smart key. And does it work with the screen off? It does, in fact. So that's good. So this will be a device that I take with me um, probably like to a game or just uh, somewhere where I, I if I drop this thing in, in, in the wintertime or when it's cold months or it's raining, I definitely can pop my SIM card in here. Uh, there's some concerts coming up that uh, I think they're going to. So I'll say, hey, you know, take this if you want to, if you don't care about losing it or not, or if you drop it or whatever. Uh, but this is the device, man. So pretty impressive. This is just my first impressions. I'll try to remember to get a follow up video after a while because I want to use this in the daytime. I took some photos 
uh, and in and, and here and I took a quick video and it wasn't that impressive I mean again you're not getting this camera or this phone for the cameras per se you're getting it for the design and the functionality for being a rugged phone with long battery and it's an unlocked device that's why I would get this I can't tell you why you would get it but that's the purpose that I would get this beautiful design rugged design nice compact size uh, and let me here's let me show you what I mean here is the pixel 6a here is, let me grab what else is next to me here. Here's the iPhone 14 Plus. So basically the 14, the, any of the Max phones, this is how it is next to them. Remember this is a rugged phone, so it, it has no case needed. You're just gonna pop this on uh, and go. And then uh, another one I can measure with height is the Z Fold 4. Here's the Z Fold 4 next to it. You can see what that's like, but um, yeah, this is pretty exciting, man. This is Doogee's latest device right here, and this thing is absolutely gorgeous. First impressions, design is nice. Cameras was kind of man when I first tried them tonight in this low light setting, uh, but we'll see how that goes. I want to get into daylight and get some, a better um, time, so I might throw it in this video. I'm not sure, but just keep watching. But it, other than that, man, first impressions down, beautiful design. I definitely like this one better uh, in design than the S uh, the the S96 GT. I'll show you here before I get out of here. Once again, I definitely like this design better than this design. This is a beautiful design right here. Um, but you know this one's a lot heavier. This is just a lot going on right here. But I mean, you you grab what you want. But I, I think that uh, this is definitely the better of the two when it comes to a rugged device. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, man. And I am in love with the design already. So it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing of the S61 Pro from Doogee. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.